Have you ever thought on playing a game that involves you possessing a doll with a spirit? Or have you ever thought on summoning a ghost cat to scratch your back? Or have you ever thought on summoning this guy? Probably not, but in today's video, I'll be talking about paranormal games you should never play. What's up guys, welcome back to another video and I will be talking about paranormal games that you should never play. But in this video, I will be playing one paranormal game that involves the devil. So yeah, even though I'm a newer YouTuber, I'm going to be doing something pretty crazy, I guess you can say, even though I don't necessarily believe it, but I will be trying it for this video. And if I die, then it sucks I never got to collab with Tub, but it is what it is. But before this video does start, I do have to say thank you for all the recent support. Um, In my last video, I did say that I was getting my wisdom teeth removed and you guys wish me luck. So thank you to that. And by the way, I feel much better. Like, dude, all those YouTube videos and TikTok videos on people getting their wisdom teeth removed and like them saying their secrets, those videos are super fake, dude. Because when I woke up, I was like perfectly normal, like if nothing happened. Yeah, sure, I was a bit sore, obviously, but I just woke up and I remembered everything. So yeah, that's the truth that I found out. Most YouTubers and TikTok people, they just fake their um after surgery thing. But yeah, enough of being off topic. Let's get straight into this video. Ouija board. I feel like everybody knows what an Ouija board is. There has been movies about it and so many YouTubers, they play the Ouija board, which is a game where you get to contact spirits. And to be honest, um, when I was like in middle school, I used to believe in the Ouija board and I kind of do till this day, but at the same time, like I don't really believe it as much as I used to. And I will explain that later in the video, but in case you guys don't know what an Ouija board is, an Ouija board is a board game with letters and numbers. The game comes with a triangle piece with a little window in the center, and that triangle piece is called a planchette. The game allows you to speak with ghosts by opening a portal. How this works is when you ask the ghost a question, it will spell out words by moving the planchette to the letters. If you ask it a question that involves numbers, it will go to the number section. And if you ask it a yes or no question, it will go to the corners where it does say yes or no. The rules are simple. Rule number one, never play alone. At least play with one other person. Rule number two, it's better to play with a white candle because that will give you protection. Rule number three, while playing, if the spirit moves the planchette in a figure eight movement or goes to each four corners, that means the ghost is trying to escape the game, so you need to end the game. Rule number four is to end the game no matter what, if it's a good or bad spirit, and in order to end the game, you have to move the planchette where it says goodbye. And I've heard if you ever have an Ouija board, you should burn it after because it is very bad to have, but apparently from the research I've been doing, burning an Ouija board is very bad because apparently, like, you'll hear this scream and in 48 hours you will die. I don't really believe it, but the correct way to get rid of an Ouija board is that you have to put holy water on it, break into pieces, and bury it. That's the correct way to get rid of an Ouija board. And by the way, um, like I said earlier, I don't really believe in Ouija boards that much anymore because the fact that a game that allows you to contact the paranormal should be like a very hard game to get your hands on. But no, it's a game made by Hasbro and you could literally buy it at a Walmart or a Toys R Us. So because of that, it kind of knocks some authenticity points to me. Like how can this scary game or whatever be super easy to contact it doesn't make sense to me and if this was as scary as many people say it is then why is this game still a thing i don't get it bloody mary bloody mary is another classic paranormal game and many people at sleepovers they will normally play this game because it's a little fun scary game i guess even though you're summoning a girl covered in blood to kill you so I wouldn't necessarily call this fun, but the origins of this story is kind of unknown because this is an urban legend and when it comes to urban legends, there's like so many variations of the story, so there's not just one story of Bloody Mary, there's countless of stories of her. But back in the older days, this game was played completely different because this game was meant for girls who said Bloody Mary three times in the mirror and then they will see a reflection of their future husband, but if it shows a skull, that means they will die before they ever get married. But in modern day, it is played much differently because you do summon a bloody girl to kill you. Yeah, kind of silly and it is a hoax in my opinion, but I am not going to lie to you guys. Till present day, sometimes I'm brushing my teeth like at 1am, 
I don't know why, I'll just randomly think about Bloody Mary and even though I'm brushing my teeth looking at the mirror, I don't know, like I'm scared to say it even though I know it's fake, but I don't know, it's like a little fun scary game to scare little kids with. Candyman. So when I was much younger, I did not know what Candyman was, but basically Candyman is a complete ripoff of Bloody Mary because it's the same exact game. You go to your mirror, but instead of saying the name three times, you say Candyman five times. And then after that, in the mirror, you will see a guy with a hook covered in bees kills you. Yeah, that's it. Which is another fake game just like Bloody Mary, but yeah, complete ripoff and that's basically it. Before we move on with the video, I do want to give a little reminder about my videos in case you are new here, but basically for all my videos, I will be treating my videos like if they were iceberg videos. So the first half of the video, I will be talking about games that mostly everybody knows like Bloody Mary, Candyman, Ouija Board, which to be honest, some of those games, they are kind of lame. But later in this video, I will be talking about some paranormal games that are even scarier and they're probably real. So stay tuned till that. So right now, I'm just talking about some boring games. I'll admit it, some of them are pretty boring, but later in this video, it will get better. Just trust me on that. Charlie Charlie. Okay, this game has to be the lamest one out of this whole video and this is probably the fakest one out of this whole video, but basically this is the five minute craft version of Ouija board. Yeah, just a complete rip off of it, but with only yes and no questions where you basically get a piece of paper with yes and no written on it and balance two pencils above each other. So when you ask Charlie, Charlie, are you there? It will move to yes or no, which I remember back in what, um, 2015, so many YouTubers were taking advantage of this fake game by making some scary videos, like 3 a.m. videos to this day. But dude, I remember this game like if it was yesterday because when I was in middle school back in 2015, so many kids from my middle school, like they would think that they're the manliest person of all time by playing this game. Like, bruh, it's literally the fakest game. And yeah, I have so many memories with it, even though I never played it. But dude, my middle school was filled with talking about this game because my school was just filled with idiots. One Man Hide and Seek, also known as One Man Tag. Okay, so now we're about to get in into the good stuff. And by the way, I am not playing this because now these are not considered games. These are considered rituals. So I do not recommend you guys playing these games because honestly, I kind of believe them because on all the weird paranormal stuff you have to do so... That's why I believe it, but basically, one man hide and seek is the spirits which are wandering restless on the earth are always looking for bodies to possess. In this ritual, you will summon such a spirit by offering it a doll instead of a human body. Okay, so we're gonna go to the Annabelle route or the Chucky route because you are basically getting a doll to play hide and seek with, but you're gonna summon a spirit to haunt a doll so you can play hide and seek with a doll. And by the way, don't play hide and seek with a demon doll like come on like you may not have that many friends but finding at least one other person to play hide and seek with shouldn't be that hard. So here are the things that you need to have before you play the game. You have to have rice enough to stuff the doll fully, one needle and one crimson thread which is just a normal red thread, one pair of nail clippers, one sharp edge tool such as a knife, glass shard, or scissors, one cup of salt water, natural salt would be best, a bathroom with a bathtub and some form of counter, and a hiding place, preferably a room purified by incense and a fuda, which hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, and there must be a TV there. Preparation. Take out whatever the doll is stuffed with. Once all its stuffing is removed, restuff it with rice. Two, clip off a few pieces of your nails and put them inside the doll. Sew up the opening with the crimson thread, and once you finish sewing, tie up the doll with the rest of the thread. Three, go to the bathroom and fill up your bathtub with water. Four, return to your hiding place and put the cup of salt water on the ground. How to play it. Give a name to your doll. The name cannot be yours. Two, when the time is 3 a.m., say the doll's name is the first it. So for example, I'll use, I'll use Tuv for example. So if I have a doll, I'll name it Tuv. So basically, once you do all the steps correctly, you have to say Tuv is the first it. Say this to the doll three times. Three, go to the bathroom and put the doll into the water-filled bathtub. Four, 
Turn off all the lights in your house and go back to your hiding place and switch on the TV. 5. After counting to 10 with your eyes closed, return to the bathroom with the sharp edge tool in your hand. 6. Go to the bathtub and say to the doll, I have found you, Tuv. Then stab the doll with your sharp tool. 7. Say, you are the next it, Tuv, as you take the doll out of the bathtub and leave it on the counter in the bathroom. 8. As soon as you have the doll down, run back to your hiding spot and hide. How to finish the game. 1. Pour half of the cup of salt water into your mouth. Do not drink it. Just keep it in your mouth. 2. Get out of your hiding spot and start looking for the doll. The doll is not necessarily in the bathroom and whatever happens, do not spit the salt water out of your mouth. 3. When you find the doll, pour the rest of the salt water in the cup over it, then spit out the salt water in your mouth onto it as well. 4. Say I win three times. And once you do all of that, supposedly the ritual has already ended, so you're basically just playing a hide and seek game with a doll that sometimes will move. And yeah, that's basically it, which by the way, I do not recommend this game at all because it is very dangerous and by the way, um, Something that I did forget to mention, once you finish the game, you do have to burn the doll and get rid of it because you do not want to have a haunted doll in your house. Elevator game. I briefly talked about this in my last video where I talked about the theory on the death of Elisa Lom where she could have been playing this elevator game which did cause her to die because she could have interacted with a demon. The elevator game has to be played by one person and that's it. You cannot play with other people. Then you will need to find an elevator with 10 floors or more. Most common place to play this is in a hotel because most of the time it does have 10 floors. And yes, in case you're wondering the Cecil Hotel where Lisa Lam was found dead, the hotel did have 10 floors. So that's another thing to back up the theory that she was playing this game. So here are the rules. Enter the elevator alone. Do not get out of any of the floors. And if any outsiders get in the elevator, you will need to start over. Then proceed to the 4th floor, descend to the 2nd floor, proceed to the 6th floor, return to the 2nd floor, ascend to the 10th floor, return to the 5th floor. When you reach the 5th floor, it's then that people report encountering a young woman and you are instructed not to look at her or interact with her. She may or may not try talking to you, asking for help, or antagonizing you. And remember, she is not human. Then press the button for the first floor and two things might happen. If the elevator descends to the first floor, exit immediately and do not look back or speak. And if the elevator starts to go up, you've been allowed into the other world. And when you reach the 10th floor, things might look slightly different. No one else will be there, the power might be out, and some players claim to look out the window and see only a red cross in the distance. If you choose to exit the elevator, you should ignore the woman's attempts to question or to stop you. To get back to the normal dimension, you will need to do the same steps on how you got there. Also, what happens if you do interact with the woman? It is unknown and people do say that she will follow you once you get back to the normal dimension, so she will haunt you. The Midnight Game The Midnight Game is a ritual on where you summon a spirit. Back in the olden days, this was not a game. This was a game where you played as a punishment if you disrespected any of the gods. And when you summon the Midnight Man and lose the game, he will pull out all of your organs. The rules are, begin at midnight, write your name on a piece of paper, add a drop of your own blood onto the paper, turn off all the lights, put that paper with your name at the front of the door with a candle lit, knock on the door 22 times and then on the 22nd time, make sure it strikes midnight. Next, open the door, blow out the candle, and then close your door. Relight the candle immediately and walk around your house with the candle until 3.33 a.m. But in order for the Midnight Man to attack you, he is going to try to blow out your candle. If he blows out your candle, make sure to light it back up before 10 seconds pass. And if you fail to light up your candle in 10 seconds, don't worry because you are not dead yet. Surround yourself with a circle of salt and stay there until 3.33 a.m. Once it's 3.33 a.m., the game is over and you can turn on the lights back on. And if I ever did play this game, which by the way, I won't, I wouldn't even play the game properly because for over three hours, you have to walk around and just staring into the candle and make sure it does not turn off because once it does turn off, you have to relight it immediately 
within 10 seconds and by the way i am not gonna walk around my house for three whole hours so i would just say screw the candle blow out the candle by myself and just sit in the circle of salt for three hours because sitting down for three hours is much easier than walking for three hours and taking care of a stupid candle so if i ever did play this which by the way i will not play this because I do not want my organs to be pulled out. I'll just sit in the circle of salt for three hours because that's like much easier. Baby Blue. Baby Blue is an urban legend on where you summon a evil ghost baby onto your arms. And many people say that this urban legend is related to the Bloody Mary myth, which we did cover in this video, which by the way, I don't necessarily believe that story. So if this game is related to the other game, then I don't believe this game either. To play Baby Blue, you have to go into the bathroom on your own, turn off the lights and lock the door, then stare into the mirror, hold out your arms like if you are rocking a baby, and repeat these words, Baby Blue, Blue Baby, 13 times without making a mistake. If you do it right, you will suddenly feel weight of an invisible baby in your arms. The baby will get heavier and heavier as it grows larger and larger, and you will also feel it scratching your arms. Before it gets too heavy, you have to quickly take the invisible baby and flush it down the toilet and run out the bathroom. If you don't do it fast enough, a hideous woman will appear in the mirror and she will yell, give me back my baby and scream loud enough to break the glass. If you're still holding the baby, she will kill you. Some people believe this woman to be Bloody Mary because she did murder her own children when she shattered a mirror and used a piece of the broken glass to stab a baby. And like I said, since this is related to Bloody Mary, I don't really believe this story either, but not gonna lie, it is a pretty interesting game to try. Which, by the way, I don't recommend to try because you don't want to get your arm scratched or a ghost lady to kill you, but not gonna lie, it seems pretty interesting, you know? Rocking your arms and all of a sudden feel the weight of a real baby onto your arms and you have to flush it down the toilet. That part is a bit weird, but it's, it's a weird game, but yeah. This game is another interesting story. The Answer Man. The Answer Man is an urban legend about a game that is played by kids in Japan, and they say that the game can invoke an evil spirit that will answer any question you ask it. To play this game, you will need 10 people, and each of the 10 people need a cell phone. So here are the steps. Step one, gather 10 people in a loose circle. Each person must have the number of the person to the left of their phone. Step two, on a count of three, each person presses a call button to call the person on their left. Step three, everyone puts their phone on their ear to listen. Because everyone is calling everyone else at the same time and all the phones should be busy, nobody should receive an answer. However, what will happen is that one person will find that their call is mysteriously answered and they will hear a voice on the other end of the line. This is the answer man. When you are on the phone with the answer man, you can ask him anything. He will answer whatever question you put to him. However, after he gives you your answer, he will have to ask you a question. They say that if you answer his question incorrectly or unable to give an answer, a large gnarled hand will appear from the phone and tear off a piece of your body. Not gonna lie, if this ritual is real, I would probably play it just because it is a 1 out of 10 chance that the answer man will call you because you are playing with 10 people and all the calls will go to voicemail except one so I do have a 1 in 10 chance to avoid the answer man but if all of a sudden he picks me then um I'ma just hang up. I don't know if you can do that because if I never ask him a question can I just hang up? I don't really know how that works but that could be one good way to avoid the answer man. The Cat Scratch Game The Cat Scratch Game is a game where you tell a friend a scary story about a cat and after you finish the scary story about the cat, a ghostly cat will scratch your friend's back. Which, by the way, it's a game that I will probably play. Not in this video, maybe a separate video. But to be honest, by reading the whole story, it doesn't really involve anything too crazy. So, this story is pretty tame. So, here are the rules. Step 1. You sit down on the floor. Your friend lies on the floor, on their back, with their head in your lap. Step 2. You rub the person's temple in a soothing motion as you tell them a scary story about the cat. Step 3. The person gets up quickly and you pull up the back of their shirt. And once you take a look at their back, you will see a red scratch mark on their back. So that's the only thing. Just tell them a scary story and the person that you tell it to will have a cat scratch mark on their back. So that's like the only bad thing you get and you're pretty much safe. So, not a terrible game to play, and by the way, you will not feel the scratch, so that's a good thing at least. 
Dry Bones. Dry Bones is similar to One Man Head and Seek and it's also similar to The Midnight Man, which we already talked about in this video. But apparently Dry Bones is even worse and even doing my research on this game, there's even a warning label to warn you not to play this game, which it is very interesting because when I look at the other stories, they don't give me a warning label, but this one does. And the wording does say, Warning, the Dry Bones Ritual is a very dangerous game and we strongly advise you not to play it. By dabbing with the occult and contacting demons, you are messing with the things that you don't understand. You could wind up losing your mind, being killed, or even worse, losing your soul. The Dry Bones Ritual must be played alone. All you need is a bathroom, a mirror, and a candle, and a box of matches. Step 1. To prepare. Close all the doors and windows in your house. Close all the cupboards, closet, wardrobes, and cabinets also. Turn off all the lights in your house, including television and computer screens. 2. Begin the game at 12.01 AM, not a minute sooner or later. Go into your bathroom and look into a mirror. Make sure that everything is completely silent. If you hear any strange noises, it means he is already there. Abort the game and leave the house immediately. That means that he is already there. 3. Think of something that you want. This will be your prize if you win. 4. Strike a match and light a candle and do not blow out the match yourself. Wait for it to burn out on its own. If the match lasts 15 seconds or more, then you may continue. 5. Lie down on the floor and recite the following words. I am aware of your presence and I welcome you into my home. Come now. 6. Go to the largest room in your house and wait. How long this takes can vary widely. For some, it may take hours, and for others, it could take minutes. You have to be patient. Wait. When he is ready, you will hear a faint moaning sound. If you hear anything else, abort the game and leave the house immediately. 7. When you hear the moaning begin, you must run and hide. Stay in your hiding place and pray that he doesn't find you so you can win the game. You must remain hidden until 3 a.m. and during that time you must be hidden. He will be searching for you. Remain absolutely quiet and do not make any noise. Try not to make any quick movements or else it will be easier for him to find you. 8. When the clock strikes 3 a.m., the game is over and it's safe to come out. Return to the largest room in your house and then say, Thank you for playing, but you must leave now. You are no longer welcome. You will then hear a groan and he will leave. If you manage to hide successfully, then you have won the game and your prize will be waiting outside your front door the next morning. And if I ever did play this game, obviously I will wish for my YouTube channel to hit 1 million subscribers. But if I have to hide from a demon for 3 hours, I will most likely die because my house is incredibly small. So I won't last a chance and I will just be dead. The Bath Game The Bath Game is another game that does have a warning so... Do not play this at all because horrible things can happen to you and to be honest, um, I'm not gonna lie but today when I was showering, I was randomly thinking about the game and I was like shitting myself because I was honestly scared and just by thinking about the game, it is very disturbing and kind of creepy. The Bath Game or Jurumasan is a paranormal ghost game that originated in Japan. The game involves summoning a ghost that will follow you all day. The objective of the game is to avoid the ghost and prevent it from catching you. So here are the rules. Step 1. Before you go to bed at night, take off all your clothes and go to the bathroom. Step 2. Fill the bathtub with water and turn off all the lights. Step 3. Sit in the middle of the bathtub facing the faucet or taps. Step 4. Wash your hair while repeating over and over the words Darumasan fell down, Darumasan fell down. Step 5. As you wash your hair in your mind, you should see an image of a Japanese woman standing in the bathtub. She will slip and fall into a rusty tap, and the tap will go through her eye and kill her. Step 6. Keep repeating the words, Darumasan fell down, until you finish washing your hair. Your eyes must remain shut. You may hear or feel slight movement in the bathwater behind you, but keep your eyes closed. Do not peek. You just summoned a ghost. The ghostly figure of the woman will rise out of the water behind you and you will feel her presence as she stares at you. Her head behind your right shoulder and her hair is black and tangled. Her clothes are also ripped and rotting and she only has one eye. Her left eye is wide open and bloodshot. Her right eye is missing, leaving just a bloody hollow eye socket. Step 7. When you sense the presence of the ghost, say out loud, why do you fall in the bath? Step 8. 
Keep your eyes shut tightly, stand up, and get out of the bath. Be careful. Do not trip and fall. Immediately leave the bathroom and shut the door behind you. Now it is safe to open your eyes. Leave the water in the bath overnight. Go to sleep. The next morning when you wake up, the game will begin. The ghost of the one-eyed woman will be following you the whole day. Whenever you turn to look, she will disappear throughout the day. When you glance over your right shoulder, you will occasionally catch a glimpse of her. She will get closer and closer as the day goes on. Do not allow her to catch you. If you glance over your shoulder and see that she's way too close, you should shout out Tamar, which means stop, then run away quickly as possible. This will allow you to put some distance between yourself and the one-eyed woman. To end the game, you must catch a glimpse of the ghostly woman and shout out Kita, which means I cut you loose. Then hold out your hand in front of you and swing it down in a cutting motion like a karate chop. You should end the game before midnight, otherwise the one-eyed woman will appear in your dreams and follow you. So yeah, this game is super creepy and like I said, don't do this. Like there's warnings on not to do this because you are summoning a demon to follow you and you don't want that. And by the way, playing the game, even though you haven't summoned her yet, it's super disturbing just because you're naked while doing it and yeah, it's, it's super weird that you're naked in the bathtub, it's dark, you feel a woman in your bathtub, super weird. And the fact that you get to look behind you and sometimes see her in broad daylight, it's low-key kind of creepy. And yeah, not gonna lie, dude, like I said earlier, when I was taking a shower today, I was shitting myself because while washing my hair, I just thought about this story and... I was like trying to think of other stuff because I did not want to think about the lady and yeah, it was so funny, dude. I was like so scared today. It was fun. The devil got my arms. This is the last game that I will be talking about, but I will also be playing this paranormal game, which to be honest, it is another lame game. So it's nothing too crazy, but basically, if you stand in front of your doorframe and apply pressure with your both arms against the doorframe and walk out, your arms will be grabbed by the devil and he will raise your arms. So, yeah, um, enough said and let's just play this game, I guess. Okay, so this game is going to be pretty fast. So here is my door and here's the doorframe. So I have to apply pressure on the doorframes with my arms let's see if this works all right so i don't know if i'm gonna do a time lapse because i do have to apply pressure for like a few seconds so let's see how this goes all right let me just do this applying pressure not gonna lie i am very weak and i'm applying so much pressure which does hurt my arms so come on devil stop being a bitch My arms are like super weak because I'm applying so much pressure, which my arms are like super, they just hurt a lot. Okay, this is take three because again, I'm having camera issues when I make this part of the video. I don't know why. Um, like I said, the game is fake. I guess like a little paranormal thing. No idea. The camera is recording. Let me apply pressure for like the third time, which by the way, this is super annoying. Like it hurts. Okay, I'm applying pressure. And by the way, you are not supposed to apply pressure for like that long, but I'm just doing this, you know, longer for like better results. I don't really know why. Applying pressure, applying pressure. Third time the charm, apparently. Three, two, one. Nothing's happening again, but the camera is still rolling. And hopefully when I turn off the camera right now and look back at the footage, I have all the footage because for some reason it's not working. By the way, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I have played this game like before I even started to record yesterday, the day before, and I played it when I first heard about this like many years ago, and this is a fake game. It does not involve with the devil, it's not a paranormal game, 
and apparently some people when they do apply pressure with their arms against the door frame their arms will flow and um there's like science behind it like your brain like it triggers something because on how much pressure you're applying and since the door frames are restraining your arms and once you walk out it will go up so yeah there is science behind it but from like the many times i've tried this it doesn't work for me at least but i don't know if other people are just faking it and oh look there's science behind it but yeah i recommend you guys to try this for yourself because like i said it has nothing to do with paranormal just science apparently and also you saw me do it and nothing happened to me i wouldn't fake something for you guys and yeah nothing happened but i'm not gonna lie it is kind of weird how two times when i did this i do not get the footage like something weird happened and by the way paranormal stuff they do mess with cameras mics etc so it's kind of weird how i played a paranormal game and it was affecting my um camera so kind of weird but you know what it's fake whatever and i don't recommend to play the other games from the video but i do recommend to play that door game because it is fake but yeah other than that thank you guys for watching and um i'm not gonna lie i do want to play one real paranormal game but honestly i do not want to die maybe the cat scratch game but that does involve another person which by the way i do not have that many friends so finding one other person is very hard so yeah um comment down below which game would you play and by the way don't say any of these games because you will die but other than that thank you for all the recent support it does mean a lot to me but thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next video see you guys